Aha! A short crust pastry filled with some form of seasoned meat. I therefore deduce that this is a pork pie. Incredible, Paul. How did you do that? Elementary, my dear Barry. <laughs> oh, it's a muffin. <clears throat> what are you two doing here? Well, this is a party for the great detectives. So what are you two doing here? Paul is one of the great detectives. Who rounded up the hounds of the Baskervilles? Who let them all out in the first place? It was a simple inquiry about a dog licence till you got involved. Ignore him, Barry. We all know the police are jealous of my success. Sir! <laughs> but rest assured, whenever a wrongdoing or misdeed occurs, I'll be there. Ah! Diligent and quick of mind. Whenever we see off our common foe and see that justice, British justice, is always seen to be done. Where's everybody gone? Somebody's broken in through the pantry. What? Right, I'll take charge. She said she heard this sort of tap, tap, tap noise. Mmm. No. The door was locked. There was no way in apart from that small window which was open. Well, nobody could get in through there. It's too small. <laughs> oh, oh. Aha! A fishing fly and a pass for the river. Dated for tomorrow. Barry, I think we've got our man. We'll need the sergeant to make the arrest. I'd like to speak to Sergeant Watts. Er, uh, Potts. Er, uh, Potts. Hard luck, it's his day off. He's gone fishing. It couldn't be Potts, could it? That <laughs> noise was the sound of his fishing reel. And there he is now, burying the treasure, I'll be bound. What do you want? I'll check this. I know that it was you that stole that brooch last night. I stole it. Ah, so you admit it. And I predict that the brooch is in that box. <laughs> Barry, dig. Don't think you can worm your way out of this one. I'm going to make you pay for disturbing my peace, Tucker. You'll have plenty of time for peace when you're locked up in the scrubs. I have the perfect alibi for last night. Huh, what? I was talking to you at the time of the robbery. We'll be off now, then. You idiot! Sorry. We'll tidy it up for you. You come here and accuse me, a police sergeant, of a criminal act, and then you ruin all my equipment. I'm warning you, Chuckle. If you cross me again, it'll be you who'll end up in the scrubs, not me. Come, Barry. We'll continue our investigations elsewhere. Another robbery, eh? So what's the form? Uh, well, sir, the thief stole a painting from that wall. Whereabouts, exactly? Could it be here? Aha! Uh, and I also notice that the thief damaged that vase. Remarkable! I never noticed that. Ah, uh -huh. elementary, Barry. See, you haven't got the eyes I've got for this job. Hey, the butler said he heard a tap, tap, tap. <laughs> and when he came in, the painting had gone. Well, that's it then. The butler did it. Why? The butler always does it. And besides, I predict that the contents of my handkerchief will match him. What's he doing blowing his nose in your handkerchief? Oh, no, no, no. I found this hair in the letterbox. And if this matches him, we've got our man. Here he is. Perhaps it wasn't the butler. Hey, that's that <laughs> noise. Mmm. No. <laughs> it's Potts. I told you it was him. A thief always returns to the scene of his crime. Yeah, but we need proof. You grab a hair off his head. Why can't you do it? Cos I'll be keeping him occupied. Nasty business. Go away. I'd just like to apologise for suspecting you earlier. Well, I should think so. We police have a hard enough job as it is. Perhaps I could hang your helmet up for you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Is it me, or has it suddenly got cold in here? Well, it has got a bit chilly. Brrr. I think it's time we were going. Come on, Barry.
At last. Conclusive proof. The hair found at the scene of the crime matches Sergeant Pop's wig exactly. Uh, let me see. You can't. You've just blown all the samples away with that thing. Yes, well, this helps me concentrate, doesn't it? Can't you play something quieter, like the violin? Can't play the violin. <sighs> you can't play the tuba. So, it looks as though we've got our man, then. Yes, but what was that <sighs> noise we heard just before he arrived? <laughs> Funny. I've got it. Sergeant Watts. Er, uh, Potts. Er, uh, Potts. He's a cyclist, right? Yes. Well, that <coughs> noise will have been his bike. Hmm. No. <coughs> How did that get in there? <laughs> Stop! Yeah? Go and get me half a pound of wine gums. Expensive necklace stolen. Police baffled. Right. Time to catch Sergeant Watts, er, uh, Potts, in the act. Could I have half a pound of wine gums, please? Er, uh, no, no. The red ones. Sorry. That's it. Now, where's that necklace? Ah, here it is. Gotcha. Oh, I did. I might have guessed. I came to find this necklace, and here it is. That's my wife's. Come on, down to the station. No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. No, it's not me. You know who I am. Did you get it? The cake with the file in it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've also got you some toenail clippers and a moustache groomer. I didn't mean that kind of file. What's this? Oh. Smuggling in contraband, eh? Right. You can stay here as well. well what about supper? Hmm. Brown bread tonight. We are honoured. Watch it. You're lucky to get anything at all, you know? The Sarge is really going to throw the book at you. Can we have the great escape, please? But we've had bread and water every night I've been in here. Can't I have something different for a change? All right. Here. Have a sweet. Ooh, Perkins sugar toffees, my favourite. Only one. Expensive, these, huh? Mmm, delicious. Mmm. Mind you, they're not made by Perkins anymore. Mm. No, they were taken over by Carson's Confectionery about three months ago. Oh, yes. I knew that. Elementary. And remember, not a word to the Sarge. It's a pity we're locked up in here. There's a big hole to be had tonight. Hey? Mossman's the jewellers. Tiaras and everything. Must be worth a fortune. Will you sure up? Don't think we really did it. We could have been out of there in no time. The ship sails tomorrow as well. What a trip? For our escape to America. It would have been the perfect crime. <laughs> you mean you really did it? Right, you pair, settle down. I'm off. See you in the morning. Right, let's get out of here. Where's the key? It's out there on the table. It's a good job they didn't search me when I came in. I can't believe it. My own flesh and blood breaking into a jewellery shop. Shh! I'm just going to give somebody a ring. Well, why don't you give them one of these? They're very nice. On the telephone. Hello, Sergeant Potts. There's a robbery in progress at Mossman's and Jewellers. Get down there straight away and bring some men with you. What are you playing at? You're going to get us locked up again. Oh, dear. We'd better get out of here. The police will be here soon. Sooner than you think. 
the sound that Thief makes. Ooh. tricks again, eh? Yes, Sergeant Potts. We've caught your thief for you. Harris! I don't believe it. How? Elementary. <laughs> you feel this one, Barry. I first became suspicious when I saw him limping when he brought in our supper. Ah, yes. That's because Harris has got a wooden leg. Well, it's the other one. Sorry, which explains the tap, tap, tap every time a robbery was committed. I admit it. I planted the fishing fly and sawed his hair, everything. And then there was the <laughs> sound. Ah, which was made by this ratchet here. A device used in sweet shops for the many jars on high shelves. I've said I'm guilty. So when he revealed an intimate knowledge of sweets and confectionery, we knew we had our man. For heaven's sake, just arrest me. Don't stand there denying it. We knew he was listening to our conversation at the police station and he couldn't resist one final robbery. Remarkable. Right, Harris, you're coming along with me to the police station. Um, uh, well done, Chuck. All I misjudged you. Well, but it helps out a little bit. <laughs> uh, at last. I'll post this back to him when I get to America. Hey. I can't wait for this holiday. Nah, mate. Two weeks of peace and relaxation. <laughs> what was the name of that ship we're travelling on? Um, RMS Titanic. Oh! <laughs> 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 Feel this one, Barry. Ah, yes. What do I say? And I will follow my justice to their league's end because I am the greatest scream in the corner because they want them all to go. Ah! That's it, because it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> 